Welcome to the Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Breakdown for Noob Cybot. Noob Cybot. In this remix of our ongoing character breakdown series, this video focuses on Noob Cybot, who has definitely become a bit more popular thanks to the custom variations expanding his possibilities. Let's look into Bihan's moveset and break down what makes his strong neutral so very effective. Base moves are already a good selection for noob players, and your range is thoroughly impressive on buttons alone. Back 3, back 1, forward 2-2, two, two, and down 4 or down 3, all bringing elements of frustration to the opponent. But what about base specials? Up Clone is a wonderful anti-air that we see all the time against characters with particularly amazing jump-ins, but it can serve as a corner combo tool as well, giving Noob some rather impressive corner combos in general. Shadow Tackle ends combos with big damage, but is most impressively used for its crushing blow that we'll cover a bit later. When it comes to customizable abilities, Air Teleport is the ability to use Noob's Teleport in the air, as you probably guessed, but it's mostly useful for the much faster startup time and ability to make your jump game more dangerous. This does go hand in hand with another ability though, thanks to the custom variations. Shadow Portals allows you to turn the Amplified Teleport into a full combo launcher, with some of the highest one bar damage in the entire game. This move is a heavy hitting punish if you have the execution to pull it off. Often, players combine this and air teleport to make the air teleport more damaging in general. Shadow Slide sends a fast low clone towards the opponent and it does good damage on its own, but the secret here is the Amplify sending out a second which is pretty much safe on block against all characters, on top of doing extra damage. A bonus here is that your Shadow Tackle Crushing Blow, requiring 10 clone attacks to land, actually counts separately a slide and its amplify, making this crushing blow very possible. Although we haven't seen Ghost Ball once since players had the option due to its slow startup and high hitting properties, the Spirit Ball is a fantastic projectile that is fast, does great damage, and is plus on hit. Ending corner combos with this after back 1 1 plus 3 is a nice plus 5 restand, but importantly, it grants Noob Cybot some full screen presence, which is something that he often lacks. Another launcher that Noob Cybot players like taking is the Sickle Snag. This move allows different launch confirms to Shadow Portals, as this move lets your forward 2 2 1 fully combo, on top of getting really nice combo damage from anti airs and 2 1 2. The Sickle is good for some matchups, where the Shadow Portals are good for others. Rarely are they put together. Although we see mostly these moves in competitive Noob Cybot play, it is the order of these that lets you get really creative. The most successful competitive Noob Cybot players often run different variations that give you a bit of each, depending on the matchup in question, which is definitely the most optimal way of playing the character. Variety is the spice of life, especially for Noob Cybot, a specialist's character who has a lot of reward for those looking to deep dive into one character's meta.